This week, LeBron James signed with Warner Brothers, once again sparking rumors that he will star in Space Jam 2. This, of course, has ignited the age-old debate, who's better, LeBron or Jordan? So we brought in SB Nation's Ryan Nanny for a new segment where we take a cold, bland debate and heat it up to make it more delicious called Hot Topics. Ryan Nanny, who's better, Michael Jordan or LeBron James for the Toon Squad? Katie, it's very simple. Uh, Michael Jordan, 6-0 and in finals. LeBron James, 2-4. and four. Nothing is more final than playing the Monstars. Give me Jordan. Here's the thing. You cannot compare the NBA championships to Space Jam. If you're trying to say that one of them has more experience, it's clearly LeBron. Toon Squad is a group of cartoons who have little to no basketball experience who are completely dependent on one guy who's good at basketball to lead them to victory. That's the Cavaliers. Okay, I see what you're saying. Matthew Della Vadova does uh, play dirty, much like Wiley Coyote. But we're talking about Jordan came up in that defensive-heavy NBA when you got fouled and you got fouled hard. That's what playing the Monstars is like. LeBron James is not ready for that level of defensive play. I completely disagree because the Monstars don't play defense. They they kill people. They smush them with their gigantic bodies. Plus, I mean, Marvin Martian's going to be whistle happy because that's how basketball is now. So I think it's just going to be foul after foul. It won't be as exciting of a game and it won't be as close, but LeBron is going to destroy the Monstars. Look, it doesn't even matter because loyalty is maybe the most important thing in Space Jam. And I wouldn't be surprised if at halftime LeBron just said, hey, I'm taking my talents to a pineapple under the sea and join SpongeBob. That's the kind of thing Michael Jordan doesn't do. He doesn't abandon ship the way LeBron does. Okay, I understand the buzzer is sounding, but I just need to make my last point here because it's my show. First of all, LeBron would never leave the Toon Squad because he's a player coach, and that's LeBron's ideal situation. He's been looking for that forever. Second of all, loyal? I don't think Jordan would even be on the Toon Squad if he hadn't abandoned the entire sport of basketball to play baseball. If anything, he would have ended up a monster. But Ryan, thank you for joining me to hash out this debate. Thank you for having me. Ebbity, ebbity, ebbity. That's all, folks.